boss, can I ask you something? Didn't you just? Oh my god, maybe I ought to just shoot you instead. Seriously, though. We've been running together for a while now. You ain't afraid to take what you want. And don't let anybody get in your way. Got more guts than most folks. I guess what I'm wondering is, why? What's behind all this for you? Do I need a reason? Nope. Suppose not. You ask me, this whole damn world is here just to tear you down. Dex stacked against her from the very beginning. Most folks are too stupid to realize it. They just sort of stumble through, managing to scrape together some shitty little life for themselves. They struggle every day until something catches them off guard. And then that's it. Lights out. bad for them? Nah. Ain't my fault they're not smart enough to do something different. But then some folks are too aware of it, you know? They see the world for how fucked up it is. And so they decide they're gonna have it all. Right now. All the booze, all the kims, all the caps. And they don't care how they get it. In fact, if they can take it from others, they feel like they're getting the upper hand. Only, they ain't. Fucking raiders. They get so greedy, so focused on right now, they make some shitty mistakes. And wind up dead. Hell, maybe some of them are trying to get killed. And what about you, Gage? Which type of person are you? As far as I'm concerned, I ain't either of them. All these people. They either try too hard or not enough, maybe. Not at all. You and me, though, we're different. We know how to walk the line between fighting for what we deserve and getting out of control. Don't know about you, but I had this shit figured out early. Grew up in your average crap hole settlement with parents that meant well, but they were pushovers. Watched them get smacked around by raider gangs for years, handing over whatever they had to keep their lives. One day, I'm watching them cower in front of some punk with a gun, and it just hits me. I ain't gonna end up like this, I says to myself. So I bail. I'm what, 12 years old? Didn't matter. I'd seen enough of the world to know how shit works. Sure it was a tough choice? You'd think so, but no, not really just seemed like what I had to do. I bounced around for a few years, taking whatever jobs I could to pay for food, one way or another. I was a runner for a caravan for a while, did some scavenging, did odd jobs for settlements. No matter what, one thing never changed. When the raiders came through, everyone rolled over. Raiders took what they wanted, moved on, and that was that. Didn't take long before I finally figured out where I'd really been heading all along. Next time a gang came through, I joined. Worked my way up over the years, and now here we are. Running with you now? Seems like it was all worth it. I feel like you should be laying on a couch while I take notes and then charge you a couple thousand caps for the session. If that's a joke, I don't get it. I'm just saying. It feels like you get it. Whatever you've been through, you can relate. Good to have someone like that around, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, enough being sentimental, I suppose. Let's go kill some shit.
Grandpa George can rest in peace. Fog crawler is dead. Wonderful. That's another chapter successfully concluded. You truly are the heroic Avenger I hoped you were. With that fog crawler gone, we can send some folks up there to get the place ready for you. That's right. The farm is yours. Your own little piece of the island. It'll take work to get it up and running again, but you'll have help. And here's another 200 caps in gratitude for your service to the great Dalton lineage. Surely a heroic Avenger deserves more than 200 caps. I can agree to that. Here's another 100 caps. Now, I don't have to tell you that the bonds of blood and family are strong. As strong as any a person can know. But if you ask me, the strongest among them is the bond that exists between two married people. That's why the last part of this tale is the hardest one for me to tell. Believe me, I know exactly how you feel. If that's true, then I'm sorry to hear it. Perhaps we'll confront our pain together. My late husband, Daniel, was the best fisherman this island ever saw. He and his crew had a favorite fishing spot out by Brooks Head Lighthouse. One day, a day I'll never forget, I see Danny's boat pulling up with his crewmen all shouting and carrying on. Turns out some trappers moved into the lighthouse. No doubt because the island told them to. They're all crazier than a bag of mole rats. Their leader was having a little target practice. Shot Danny right between the eyes. Killed him, just like that. You go and get that son of a bitch. You make him pay for doing the island's bidding. get to the Brooks Head Lighthouse. It's southwest of town, not far from the quarry. I'll make that trapper pay. All right, then. Remember, trappers may be half crazy from the fog, but they still know how to use a gun. Hey there. Have you found the holotapes? Are Betty's memories safe? Do you have any idea where I can find more of them? I wish I could be more help, but as soon as the Institute set me loose, I've been losing more and more of Betty's memories. I think she used to like to hide them in toolboxes. She liked that bright red color. Sometimes she'd leave them on the table or counter just for the hell of it. When my memories of being Betty faded, I ran away from Bunker Hill and came here. I joined the Church of the Four to try and hide from the Institute. All I want is to be able to live free, away from the fear that they'll come for me. I'm still working on it. Please find Betty's holotapes. Don't let her memory die. 